Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. So over the last couple of weeks I've been asked um, how how I do the uh, water, bo uh, water drop bowl, should I say, effect. Um, so I thought, you know what, I've done a few, I've recorded a few, I've put a few out, um, but I would just do one more and run you guys through the steps if you're, uh, if you're interested. So at the minute I've got a nice uh, piece of vash on there. Um, just roughing out now with the uh, with the easy wood uh, mid-size uh, finisher starting to get some type of shape in there it took me a little bit longer on this one because uh, I almost I almost went to do another dog bowl um but i stopped myself and uh yeah it worked so just doing a little bit something different for me on this on this bottom one having a bit of a step there um in the middle of the bowl just now defining the uh, the shape of the foot And that's the uh, the number one Hollowworth the uh, midsize from Easy Wood Tools. I'll come in and very shortly with the uh, with the rougher. There you go, the midsize rougher. Just flatten it off, and then come in with the detailer and pop in the three lines and define the uh, the shape for the uh, for the chuck. Now. On the bottom, I only sand from 120 to 240. And now just giving it some uh, some sanding sealer, making sure that uh, it's all, all covered, make sure all the pieces covered and it's all soaked in nicely. And now with the, the Yorkshire Grit um, abrasive. This is the original. Again, just working it in with the lathe stationery. Speed down, low as I can. And just gently buffing that in. Speed it up and she's all off. I did actually do that for about three minutes uh, before taking it all off. And now we're onto the microcrystalline wax. Um, I did put um, some wood wax 22 on before this coat of microcrystalline, except I, I think I edited it out by mistake. There we go, just now buffing in that microcrystalline wax. So it comes to a really nice shine. And it gives a, a long hard wearing fingerprint resistant uh, finish after it's all uh, cured as well. Now just uh, flattening off the face of the piece. Start off with the uh, with the detailer. And then come with the uh, with the easy wood rougher just to square that face off. Pick up that cut. Just lost it a little bit on the back one. So Sanding again from 120, but this time I'm going up to uh, 400. Because we're going to apply paint on there, I wanted to make sure I could get that piece as, uh, as uh, smooth as possible. Um, I don't think it shows you on this bit, but after I finish sanding, I do put some sanding sealer on. Then I uh, denib it. So now I'm just applying the the uh, coat of paint. Now I've chosen grey, a light grey, a dark grey, and a white. So I'm putting the base coat down of the lightest grey possible, or the, the possible to what I have. 
and I spin it around a few times, make sure it's all covered, and now I've got my little squeegee bottle. And I'm just adding the water droplets on there, as you can see. Now, the next part of this is I will get the darker grey and I will spray horizontally across the water drops. So you're catching the front edge of the water drops that's facing you, which kind of gives it that 3D type look. And it casts a little bit of a shadow at the, uh, at the back, which is more lighter. I spin it round. I go with the lighter colour there, just to try and enhance that a little bit. And you can you can do this as many times as you want. I tend to put a, quite a few little different coats on and build that colour up. Don't do it in... I don't do it in one go. It starts now to start adding definition. And you can see that in the, uh, in the water drops. And then once you're happy, before putting it back on the lathe, take it in the house. Take it in the house, leave it on the chuck, and let that dry. Let the um, water evaporate. The paint will settle and adhere to the wood. And then what I do before putting it back on the lathe is I just spray it with a coat of um, uh, clear, clear gloss lacquer. I use the Amps Machine Professional on this one. I just gave it a quick coat. Um, it's, I'm not using it as a finish. I'm just using it there to make sure that all that paint is on there so when I start making the cuts nothing's going to fly off now I wasn't I've done that because it's my own little bit of a peace of mind I've, it may be a step too far you may not need to do it I, it's just what I do that's all and now we're just uh, hogging out the middle with the number one hollower all the steps will be repeated um, so I will sand it down, start from 120 up to 240. I will add the sanding sealer, but because this piece is painted and now it's got that top, close, uh, top coat of lacquer on, when I'm applying the, uh, the sanding sealer, I still don't want it to get too much onto the painted surface because it may take a little bit of it away. It won't take it all away, it just may dull it down a little bit. sometimes you do get a little bit on your uh, on your towels as well now just with the uh, Yorkshire grit and that's now all off and then back to the wood wax 22 put one coat of that on and again here just trying to get to that edge but not quite overlap onto the paint and then buffing it off and I also do add a, uh, a coat of uh, microcrystalline. You can just see on that tissue there where I've got a little bit too close and it's just started to take a little bit off. Now, you can't really tell it on the final piece and that's why I try to be as gentle as possible while I'm doing that. So anyway, there we are. Um, I hope you like that. And if you do, please leave a comment below. And if you feel like I've deserved it, smash that like button. Thank you very much. See you next time.